In this poster, we present our work of enabling TVM for Qualcomm Adreno GPUs. TVM, or Tensor Virtual Machine, is a machine learning-based compiler stack to automatically optimize the performance of deep learning networks through autocode generation, autokernel fusion, and autotuning. It can greatly facilitate performance optimization and portability, two major issues for machine learning network deployment. In this work, we add Qualcomm's advanced Adreno mobile GPU as a new target for, G for TVM, which currently is not fully supported in the stack. Code generator, runtime support, and auto-tuning templates have been updated for Adreno. We also improve the support of local memory by adding different caching strategies. In addition, support of one-dimensional image object or image 1D is added to TVM in order to leverage high throughput of the texture processor in Adreno GPUs and the auto boundary handling with image objects. We use MobileNet v1 as the target network and apply the modified TVM stack on the Adreno A640 GPU in Snapdragon 855 SoC and have achieved a speed up of 2.65 over the official TVM. Why we want to enable TVM for Adreno? First of all, OpenCL performance is dependent on hardware and hardware portable across hardware generations and tiers. We have developed many kernels for the most popular networks, for, for example, MobileNet v1, Inception v3, but only to cover the premium tier GPUs. Tuning these kernels for lower tier GPUs will be time consuming and cost prohibitive. Second, Adreno GPUs have features and characteristics that are not currently expressed in TVM. Third, TVM has been gaining tremendous traction in industry recently. Now we describe the memory hierarchy in Adreno GPUs. The following diagram shows the high-level memory architecture of Adreno GPUs. There are two major execution units, that is, streaming processors or SP and the texture processors or TP. Each SP has a small amount of local memory that is on chip. Local memory is a fast and it can be directly used by open cell kernels. Each TP is backed by a piece of L1 cache. The L1 cache on TP is controlled by the GPU and cannot be directly used by the OpenCL kernels. Both SP and TP are connected to L2 cache or U cache. Then U cache is connected to the system memory. When the kernel tries to read an OpenCL image. The data comes from the system memory, then goes through L2 cache or U cache, then it goes through the L1 cache in TP, and it finally goes to SP for consumption by the kernel. On the other hand, if a kernel reads an OpenCL buffer, the data comes from system memory and only goes through L2 cache or U cache and enters SP for consumption by the kernel. Therefore, in Adreno GPUs, compared to OpenCL buffers, OpenCL images are backed by one more level of cache. TVM's limitation and challenges. TVM does not fully utilize local memory for mobile GPU targets. The OpenCL code generator in TVM for mobile GPUs assumes there is no physical on-chip local memory and therefore avoids using it. The texture processors in Adreno GPUs are very powerful, however, it can be accessible only through image objects in OpenCL. However, TVM only supports 
OpenCL buffers and not OpenCL image objects. Therefore, we need to make TVM code generator and the runtime be aware of Adreno features and expose them properly throughout the stack. Adding image object support requires changes in code generator, optimization passes, runtime, and auto-tuning templates. This table summarizes our gradual improvements on TVM for enabling Adreno GPUs. We started with a vanilla TVM that only supports OpenCL buffers and use it as the baseline. We report the speed up and also the execution time. The first thing we did was enabling local memory through auto-tuning templates. By doing this, we were able to achieve a speedup of 1.67. Then we enabled image 1D buffer with the CLR format in the OpenCL code generator to utilize the texture processors in Adreno GPUs. Combine this with local memory, we were able to achieve a speedup of 1.83. On top of this, we perform per layer benchmarking and identify a bottleneck layer that took most of the time. Then we use more iterations to tune this bottleneck layer to improve its performance. By doing this, we were able to achieve a speed up of 1.93. Finally, we applied different local memory strategies for, for each layer and picked the optimal local memory strategy for e each layer. By doing this, we were able to achieve a speed up of 2.65. Our hand optimized kernels can achieve a speed up about 4 compared to the vanilla TVM. So there is still a gap between our hand-optimized kernels and the auto-generated kernels. Now we'll give more details about our optimal solution. The optimal solution is obtained by combining different local memory strategies with the use of image objects. For local memory usage, we consider storing input activation and weights in local memory. And therefore, we end up with four local memory modes. That is, storing input activation in local memory, denoted by AA, storing weights in local memory, denoted by WW, storing activation and weights in local memory, denoted by AA, WW, and store nothing in local memory denoted by none. We apply these four modes to each layer. And for each layer, we pick the mode that results in the best performance. The plot on the right shows how each mode performs on each of the direct convolution layers. This is also applied to depth-wise convolutions. And finally, AutoTVM is enabled to select the optimal local memory strategy for each layer. By doing this, we were able to achieve 2.65 times performance boost compared to the vanilla TVM that only supports OpenCL buffers. So by utilizing the on-chip local memory and the 1D image objects, we were able to improve the performance of a stock TVM on the Adreno GPU A640 by about 2.65 times. Although it is still behind the hand-optimized version, the modified TVM for Adreno shows its great potential. Note that many features that are performance critical for Adreno GPUs have not been added to TVM yet. For example, we only use 1D image with CLR format, 
which is far from optimal as compared with 2D image objects with the CL RGBA format. However, adding support of 2D image object and CL RGBA is not as straightforward as it looks due to the challenges in address calculation, handling of out of a bound condition, and the access pattern limit, for, for example, not byte accessible. In addition to 2D image, other features like subgroup and a better use of constant memory could be added to TVM in the future as well to improve the performance. This concludes our presentation about our work of enabling TVM for Adreno.